So, hands up, who made a New Year's resolution? And I'll bet most of us resolve to, you know, shift a few pounds or a few kilos after Christmas because we went a bit crazy. But how many of us will reach our goal? So back to help us, we have researcher and health expert Dr Francis Pitsilis in the Harvey Norman Lounge to bust some of those weight loss myths. Morning Francis. Morning Mel. So let's talk a little bit about that. What are some common mistakes that we, when we make, that we, when we're trying to lose weight? The most common mistake is that we're going to lose a whole lot of weight quickly, whether we expect to do that and it's all just going to fall off, or whether we think that we can just eat the same way and do a lot more exercise and it'll all work really, really well. It's really got to be a combination. Mm. Or the fact we go, oh, I'm doing all this exercise, now I can actually eat more yes. than what I was eating before. I've been yes. falling into that trap yes. myself a bit, actually. Oh, let's go through the top three myths then, sort of around weight loss. First up, never skip breakfast if you're trying to lose weight. Mm. Really? This is a myth? Well, I've seen two studies that say it doesn't matter. And I think everybody's different. A lot of people do better if they do eat something in the morning. It, it brings their metabolism up and it helps them get through the day and, and burn a, a few more calories. But everyone's different, at least if they can eat something at morning tea if they don't feel they can eat at breakfast. That's fascinating because I always thought that breakfast was meant to be the most important meal of the day. Well, they used to say eat breakfast like a king, you know, mm. and, uh, you know, uh, dinner like a pauper. I think it is a good idea not to eats a heavy meal at night, especially late at night, because those calories are going to go on to you. And of course, there's been a lot of research about sort of semi-fasting, having long periods of not eating is actually uh, good for your health and can extend your life. Mm. Um, long periods of not eating actually increases growth hormone and that's how some people lose weight. But everybody's different. Everybody's metabolism's different. Exactly. So lots of different research mm. there. Okay, let's talk about the next myth then. Mm. Small changes to food intake and exercise is going to result in large long-term weight loss. Well, you're getting lighter as you lose weight. So unless, you know, it, you know it's going to become slower. As you, as you go along. So does that mean you have to beef up your exercise from when you start? So if you start and you're quite overweight, mm. you're going to lose weight easier by doing less exercise? Do you have to sort of beef the exercise up as you start losing? You, maybe. Everybody's different. But generally speaking, the weight loss will be bigger at the beginning and it will tail off as you carry on because I think it's impossible for people to sustain huge amounts of exercise. They've got to work, they've got to look after their families and people have difficulty fitting everything in. And then there's another part of that, which is that everybody's metabolism's different and there are groups of people who just have a lot of difficulty losing weight. And they are the women premenopausally who start to lose their progesterone. They get premenstrual and grumpy, right? And progesterone reduces fluid retention and increases your metabolism. Mm. So if you're in that group, you can talk to your doctor about that. What about the diabetics who often have slow thyroids and often a few mineral deficiencies? And then the women after menopause who right. find it difficult to lose weight. There's a whole Some lot of Some of them have mm. got a slow thyroid that hasn't been diagnosed. So many things we need to be thinking about. Exactly. So it's not just diet and exercise. It's maybe looking at your metabolism and looking at whether you've got any vitamin or mineral deficiencies. Okay, let's move quickly on to the last tip that you have, or the last weight loss myth. Yep. Adding fruit and veggies to your diet will help you lose weight. Yes, it will. Do you know why? Why? Because if you fill up on this good stuff that's going to give you energy and make you feel really good, especially those B vitamins and those green veggies, then there's less room for sugar and starch and those sticky buns. Okay, so that one's a fact. That one will help you lose weight. Absolutely. Excellent. So we need to get stuck into the good stuff, the veggies and the fruit and the whole foods. There we go. A lot to think about metabolism-wise as well. Very, very interesting. Hey, Francis, thank you so much. It's always a pleasure to have you here. Uh, if you want to read more about weight loss myths and other health advice, go to Francis's website. Now let's check in with Holly.